I have been noticing a few scary trends by people who are freaking out after something clearly terrified them. You are now within minutes of horror and your only chances of survival is hitting that like button. With that being said, let's continue on with the video. We don't know exactly what has happened to the now found nurse who went missing on July 13th in Alabama, Carlethia Nicole Carly Russell, but at least we can all say we are glad she has been found. Now if you do not know what happened to Carly because you are not from the states, Carly left her spa job around 8.30 p.m. After leaving, she went to go get her and her mother some food around 9 p.m. Carly then decides to get on Interstate 459. As she's driving, she spots a toddler, a child, on the side of the road wandering alone. Carly then decides to pull over and calls 911. She calls dispatch to tell them of this toddler she found who is all by himself on this interstate. After ending the call with dispatch, Carly then decides to call her family to let them know she's going to be late coming home because she has to wait for 911 to arrive. All of a sudden, the family member on the other end of the phone hears Carly ask the toddler if they're okay. All of a sudden, that family member heard Carly scream. I do believe that family member she was speaking to was her brother's girlfriend. But that family member only heard silence. Carlethia's phone was still active. That phone call was still active. She never disconnected or ended that call. But that family member did not hear anything. She did not hear the child's response to when Carlethia asked them if they're okay. All they heard was her scream and that's it. Which that in itself is very bizarre. Yes, she could be held at gunpoint. Somebody could be pointing a gun at her and telling her to be quiet. But there are no sounds whatsoever. There's no ruffling, no nothing. When officers do eventually arrive to the scene, they do spot her car, which is still running, and some of her belongings that are scattered around, including her phone, which is still active on the ground, and her wig. But no signs of Carlethia or the toddler. Matter of fact, no one else reported seeing this toddler either which also adds to the mystery that no one also heard the toddler either on the phone. So no one saw the toddler or heard the toddler. But my main question is, and this is a very important question, why do we not have a missing persons report on the toddler? Carlethia called 911. She spoke to dispatch, so I'm sure they asked her for a description, and I'm sure she gave one. Yet, there are no news reports, no media reports, describing a wandering missing toddler. Shouldn't there be an Amber Alert on this child? So that is very strange in itself. So like I said, this all took place on July 13th. Carlethia is only 10 minutes away from her home. So when she doesn't arrive, her family are beside themselves. Of course, they are very upset. They are reaching out to the news and the media in order to get assistance to look for their missing family member. They want to know where is Carlethia? On Saturday, Carlethia's family get an odd phone call from someone who sounds exactly like Carlethia telling them, I'm at the Red Roof Inn, can you come get me? The family pack up in six cars and drive to the Red Roof Inn only to find out whoever called them from this location, it was only a prank. The Red Roof Inn tells Carly's family, we have nobody here that matches her description. This woman's not here. So her family turn around and head back home. 10.59 that night, they get a knock at their front door. And it turns out to be Carly standing right there. Now, at this point, we do not know exactly what happened to Carlethia Russell. Because as of right now, she is currently in the hospital being evaluated. But there is a 48-hour gap where she went missing because she went missing on Thursday around 9 p.m. and shows up at her house Saturday around 10.59 p.m. Now, any normal thinking person would think to themselves and say that Carlethia may have been involved in a human trafficking scheme because human trafficking is a real problem. It's very real. And it looks like they are always coming up with new ways to snatch people. And this would sound like a perfect plan because anybody with empathy, any human seeing a toddler wandering by themselves alone on the road 
would pull over and try to help. Human traffickers can use children like this to their advantage. It is not outside the realm of possibility that she was captive, she escaped her captors, she's all banged up, she made it home, and now she's being evaluated at the hospital. And this is what I thought at first, but she shares some very bizarre common traits with the two people who had a freak out on their flights and are now missing. Right away when she was found, I noticed there were comments in the media and on YouTube, a lot of comments that this woman is mentally ill, that she suffers from schizophrenia. Now I have been following the stories of the two people who had a freak out on their flight, Tom Cowling and the woman who has yet to be identified. And the main narrative being pushed against those two people who freaked out after seeing someone that freaked them out is that they are mentally ill and schizophrenics, which the original narrative was that the woman who has yet to be identified who had a freak out on her flight, she was a racist Karen who had too much to drink. And when that narrative didn't work, she was talking to someone about the Illuminati. And when that narrative didn't work, now she is mentally ill and a schizophrenic. Tom Calling, it came out that he was doing drugs or he's mentally ill and a schizophrenic, even though the only person to speak out about Tom Cowling was his coach, who said he's a clean living guy who is a born again Christian and a boxer. And now we have Carlethia Russell, who saw someone, a toddler, when she approached them and asked them if they're okay, she freaked out, she screamed. And that's all we know. Nobody has spoke out about her, nobody has said that she suffers from mental illness. All we know is that she is somebody who is going to school to be a nurse. And yet, oddly enough, like the last two, there is a strong narrative being pushed against her that she is mentally ill and that this is all a hoax. Three stories of three people who saw someone that freaked them out are now all being swept under the rug as mental illness. If you don't believe me, Go to the comment section of some of these Carlethia Russell videos, of some of these news articles that have comments available on them. You will see a strong narrative being pushed against her that she is mentally ill and this is all a hoax. Go to any video, even my videos about Tom Cowling or the woman that had a freak out on her flight and you will see many comments of people calling these people mentally ill. So my question is, if Carlethia Russell was not involved in a human trafficking scheme, what exactly did she see when she approached that toddler that made her freak out? What exactly did Tom Cowling see when he was sitting next to that person that made him freak out? And what exactly did the woman who was on her flight see that made her freak out and even say, I don't care about my stuff, I wanna get off this flight. And while these three stories may have nothing in common, also is the fact that these three people saw someone that freaked them out that nobody else saw. When it comes to the two flights, no one recorded the person that freaked these two people out. When it comes to Carlethia Russell, no one else reported seeing this toddler. And why is there no missing child's report on this toddler? I find that part very bizarre. But I do want to hear from you. What do you believe? Do you believe this is all just mental illness, a hoax, and it should be swept under the rug? Or do you happen to believe, no, something more is happening here? In any case, thank you so much for watching. If you like this channel and you want to see more, please subscribe. If you're already subscribed, please like, as any engagement does help the channel grow. Once again, thank you so much for your support.